too big goes. It's not like there's another low level below us. Okay, so now I get to do an actual belly crawl, but not very far. At least it's relatively flat, so I can put my camera down on a tripod, free up one hand. There's a small formation here on the wall. Oops. I actually got the brightness setting on my gimbal wrong, or my camera. I don't know an easy way to fix it other than to pause the video and start over. But I'm just gonna let it run for now. I think it'll be close enough. Maybe a little bit overexposed. Ooh, I see natural light. Okay, there's the B entrance for real. I mean A entrance for real. They're just in the order they were discovered, not necessarily left to right or anything weird. Sometimes a cave has more than one entrance and they don't realize it. So they think it's more than one cave, give it each segment a different name. That's why it like Oregon Caves. Strictly speaking, the main cave is one big cave. But that's because they, partially because they, when they discovered all the different entrances, they didn't realize there's one big cave complex. But the other thing too, at Oregon Cave, the natural connection is pretty small. But they like dug out an easier artificial tunnel to make it simpler to get through without having to double back. Most caves, they don't do any kind of maintenance like that. They're just like, you figure it out on your own. Don't change anything. Okay, I'm trying to find a place to put my flashlight down so that I don't break anything. The floor is a bit uneven here. I don't want to drop my camera down a hole. I'm not saying that'd be funny, but it would be. All right, here we go. The good news is my GoPro is so lightweight that I can put it pretty much anywhere. I have a bigger camera. I have to be a lot more careful where I put it so I don't break the dang thing. Alright, yeah. Now, I don't know how well you can see this on video, but the entrance is to the left. It doesn't dead end though, it reconnects to the right. As long as I'm down here, I think I'm gonna go up here to the left and then to the right. I just want to check on something. I don't know if the, you can tell by the video, but the ceiling's about five feet here, four or five feet, so I can't quite stand up, but I do have some wiggle room. Okay, good, good, good. So there's the other entrance. There's the other way through. So I'm gonna go ahead and back around this way, just to show, okay, that's the way I came from. Oops. I'm trying to, there we go. Okay, so if I go left, I'll continue on to the other end of the cave, which is the good part of the cave. So, let's do this. I'm almost standing up now. I'm like three inches too tall for this cave. So yeah, this is the other way over to the entrance. So I could have gone through there. But it'd be, I went this way instead. Completely arbitrary. All right, then. Let me go ahead just a bit. I want to put the camera down on the ground so you can see a little farther through the tube where the ceiling's low. So you see there? You could probably crawl back there quite a ways, but it gets really small. And then there's a breakdown pile. 
there's the main tube to the right. So I'm gonna go towards that breakdown pile. So I just wanna see behind here. If I remember right, it's a dead end, but well, nobody wants to rely on my memory. All right, here we go. Yeah, I'm gonna go straight over to this breakdown pile so I can look over the top, see if there's anything cool there. See on top of the breakdown pile, it's actually quite a bit of room. You know what? Mm. I don't know if this is a good idea or not. I'm gonna look over here and see if this side passage goes anywhere. It definitely looks big enough for me. Oops. My backpack is caught on a rock. Oh no way, it was under my foot. All right, well, details, details. Yeah. As long as I'm here, let me look on top of the pile again. Oops. <sighs> Huh, interesting. Okay. Lots of room back there in the cracks. Room up there. Well, not big enough room for me though. But, down here to the right, looks like there might be some room to go back. As long as I'm here, I can see if I can go back behind here. Sure, I bring my backpack with me. It's got my car keys. Get a long walk home. Alright, here we go. Oh yeah. Huh. Okay. <clears throat> We're having fun. Look at this. This is how a cave typically ends. See how the floor is nice and flat and the ceiling arches down. It just curves down. They come together. So yeah, I could go back maybe 15 feet and that's it. It's a dead end. All right, well, that's good to know. All right, yeah. Same thing through here. I could go back there a little bit. But again, I can only maybe 15 more feet. There's no way I'm gonna fit through there. And I don't see any reason to try. And then over here to the left, I think that's the way back to the main tube. But it'll be easier, whoops. Turn around and go back the way I came. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. At least that way I know I'm not lost and I know I'm not stuck. One of my uh, knee straps, right, the straps on my knee pad is coming in. Let me get out of here, 